It is time for a price prediction video for this upcoming week and we have a very big week with a lot of economic data that is coming out that is really going to affect the bond market in a big way. It's going to give us different expectations for what Fed policy is going to be. Yes, we do have the Fed rate decision this upcoming week, widely expected to get a half percent rate hike if the Fed signals they're going to do more or potentially even still slow down in September. That's going to dramatically affect how AMC stock will move add in other factors like the executive order like the incredible amount of option activity we have for this week we could be setting up for something very explosive but the timing for this week will be ultra important as well so we're gonna dive into all of this key information if you guys find value out of the video hit the like button subscribe to the channel and source your comments questions or concerns down below in the comment section if you have any questions that you want answered and they are not answered down below in the comment section come join us on the live stream in between 10 and 11 p.m eastern standard time we we will be live tonight sunday night through thursday night come join us on that one it is free 99 but if you guys want to get some free money free stocks down below in the description with weeble mumu and public that is again free 99 down there not too many things are free in this world anymore and if you guys want to trade with me live in real time link down below in the pinned comment so let's get into this information and i really want to start off with the economic data that is going to uh essentially be coming out you have a lot of european data for monday and then you have a lot of our data for tuesday wednesday thursday so pull up the economic calendar for uh the uk you have gdp month over month for um GDP and that's 1 a.m. actually so that'll come out um, actually tonight and that could affect futures um, could be important just given the state of where Europe is starting to raise interest rates uh, you never know how much of an impact it will have but I'm sure it will have some effect Fred Brainerd does speak at 1 p.m. on Monday as well and that's basically it a lot of this is just European uh, data you do have some Treasury um, auctions things like that but not really expected to be anything too big but then on Tuesday 7 30 a.m. in the morning you have PPI month over month core PPI uh, month over month year over year uh, and, and, and that's very important important right producer price index the producer side of inflation if producer inflation goes up well what do businesses do they pass that cost on to you the end uh, user or consumer whatever customer whatever word you want to put on it and then on wednesday that's the big day for american data you have retail sales month over month for may incredibly important given the fears of a recession uh of the utmost importance retail sales excluding autos import prices export prices uh, retail sales excluding gas and autos import prices export prices retail sales year over year just a lot of different pieces of retail sales data that is coming out and then at 1 p.m you have the fed interest rate decision and then the fomc economic projections as well at 1 p.m. This is where that report comes out. The Fed says, hey, we're raising rates by a half a percent, 50 basis points, or potentially even more than that. That would that'd be kind of crazy. Wouldn't be too uh, unexpected, though, given the inflation report that we just got. Uh, so we'll get that information, and then Fed Jerome Powell will come out at 1.30. Like you guys seen last time, we initially dropped one at, at the, um, the last uh, FOMC economic projection where you get the dot plot you get all the members uh, voting right we initially dropped about 1% off of that and then we ended up rallying up 3% uh, from you know 230 to 4 so you don't really want to make any huge conclusions um, until you do get that follow through after the press conference and that's going to be the biggest thing for this upcoming week and really how the markets are currently situated we're really selling down into this fed meeting so we actually closed at the lowest level of 2022 we have not closed at 389.80 uh at all for 2022 it was the worst close that we have seen oh or close this day was actually worse we closed at 389.63 but a very very bad close we'll just call it that very very bad close so we're not in a good situation right now the low is 380.54 and we're pretty close to that heading into 
Wednesday. So especially if we sell off Monday, Tuesday into the actual report and the press conference, then I think you could get a bullish reaction until something breaks. If the Fed comes out and gives us information we are not expecting, if they come out and say, hey, we're not slowing down in September, we don't care what happens. If they start to talk about possibly raising rates even during a recession, which they're going to have to do, let's, let's just be real and let's prepare ourselves now, then the markets are going to sell down even more off of that right the s p is trading at about 16.9 uh, for a pe and if the earning expectations go down because of what the fed is doing then you could see some more substantial uh moves to the downside but i would still just be very careful i think personally you sell off monday tuesday half a Wednesday, and then you probably get a bullish reaction after the Fed because, hey, once the fear catalyst is gone, it's not as bad, right? So there is that, and, and, and that's kind of what I expect for this week. And that's really it for the economic data, in my personal opinion, that's going to be uh, a huge deal, right? That's going to be groundbreaking. On Thursday, you have housing starts for May, building permits for May, initial jobless claims, continuing jobless claims could be important as well, but nothing compared to the Fed. And then on Friday, you do get Fed Chair Powell again, speaking at 745 in the morning, industrial production, manufacturing production, capacity utilization, a couple other things. Fed Wallard actually speaks next Saturday. So all of these things will be important, uh, but I think you're going to get a little bit more clarity on Fed policy coming on Wednesday and that could actually relax the markets quite a bit so that's my projection you sell off in the beginning of the week and then you probably rally towards the end of the week and I think that's going to be pretty important for AMC stock because depending on what happens with this Fed meeting what policy is it's going to affect the bond yields and what do we know happens when the bond yields are affected and essentially bond yields go up well it makes your long duration growth stocks less valuable because when they have to go out and borrow money it's not based off the federal funds rate which is currently sitting at 0.75 percent to one percent you, you you're not getting loans anywhere close to that your mortgage rates are five and a half percent why because the treasury yields are sitting at 3.6 or 3.165 percent for a 10-year treasury bond you're not gonna you know lend out money for even close to three percent to anyone else or any other business because of the risk that is involved there so if treasuries continue to rally like this is a damn momentum stock um it's not going to be a good thing for equities that's the thing you want to watch out for we're overdue for a move to the downside to get a little bit of a break here in the bond market so if that happens could be bullish could be bearish really it, it just depends how hard do we continue to rally in the bond market also the japanese yen has been essentially weakening uh, a lot and that pretty much looks parabolic it's weakening compared to the u.s dollar so that's a that's a big problem as well the yen is seen as a safe haven currency and it's not being seen as a safe haven currency right now so there's really nowhere to run here in this market so if you guys are feeling it in your portfolios um let me just tell you everyone is now here's this headline and article jurassic world dominion nabs 143.3 million in domestic opening top gun maverick adds 50 million dollars key points jurassic world dominion roared to top of the domestic box office over the weekend generating more than 143 million in ticket sales during its debut around 10.8 million moviegoers turned up to see dominion domestically representing around 66 percent of the overall movie going audience during the weekend according to data from intelligence Top Gun Maverick, which snared another 50 million in ticket sales during its third weekend in the U.S. and Canada, represented 26% of the domestic movie-going audience. So this could actually be a very bullish thing for AMC stock coming on Monday. These are really good numbers, and that helps to solidify potentially the valuation that we are seeing right now, and it kind of helps to eat away at that uh, short thesis, call it that, on AMC, even more than you know what we're looking at right now because there's really no short thesis right now but you want to add on that that people are going out to see movies like nobody's business and that's a very good situation so i think you could see a bullish reaction potentially you could get amc rallying as one of one but it, i think it ultimately comes down to what the markets are going to do could be a delayed effect possibly after the fed meeting a lot of things could rally and possibly amc could rally even harder 
than that one. Now, if we go ahead and take a look at the short interest, we're looking at about 22.44%. Uh, current shares that are sold short of about 115.67 million. Cost bar minimum 3%. Cost bar average 18%. Cost bar max of 26.21%. 100% utilization. Uh, days to cover sitting at 3.67. The free flow out on loan sitting at 37%. So everything is looking primed here, obviously, to see some level of short squeeze, some level of gamma squeeze, actually. If you do look at the option activity, it's incredible heading into this week with 7,000 calls that are in the money, 327,000 calls that are out of the money. The ratio here, very large. So it doesn't take a big move to the upside to see a lot of contracts start to go into the money. At the same time, it doesn't take a big move to the upside to see a lot of puts go from into the money out of the money that is two forms of buying power and you do have 120,000 puts that are currently in the money that's the most amount of puts that we have seen in a very long time uh, possibly ever in the money with a very large amount of calls like very very large 327,000 is nothing to sneeze at even for amc that are out of the money you just typically don't see that so i think if you get a bullish reaction some way shape or form it could cause uh, essentially a lot of the mark makers to have to go out and cover some of those short-term shorts because of the puts that ran into the money because of the calls that are so far out of the money hopefully that makes a little bit of sense to you guys uh it, it's two forms of buying power with the puts and with the calls and i think that could possibly set up uh for a little bit of a gamma squeeze and we'll talk about that a little bit more uh in the video later on today but if we're looking at the technical uh, picture here for AMC stock trying to come to a conclusion um, for a possible move keep in mind what I said I think the first couple of days could be skewed to the bearish side I, th I think it could kind of hold the markets down the fact that you know we have the Fed meeting on Wednesday right so uh, AMC's really been in a range in between I've said this many times 12 14 dollars per share in this range 50 day moving average is currently at 16 dollars 42 cents per share the 100 day moving average is currently at 15 dollars 24 cents per share so those will be the key levels i will say this if we can break out above the 50 and 100 day moving averages you're probably going close to about 25 dollars per share you're probably going to retest this 200 day moving average why do i say that well what happened back here you broke out above the 100 day moving average you you kind of you know held call it held this level rallied a little bit uh not not too much kind of flat overall i uh, got a little bit of resistance around 20 and then you broke straight through the 50 day moving average which is right here this blue line and then you went straight to the 200 day moving average the next day and then obviously it got rejected that whole shit show situation that happened you guys you guys get it got rejected we've fallen ever since so i do think if we can break out the 50 day and 100 day moving average you're going to the 200 day moving average there's no other way to put it and that's kind of what i expect i do expect to break out above the 50 and 100 day moving averages but i expect it would likely be on thursday or friday so i'm not 100% uh, convinced that we're just going to make a one day move to $26, but it is certainly possible. My expectation would really be to break out above these moving averages and then make our way close to about $20, $21 per share, possibly more than that, which, you know, that would definitely be welcomed. Uh, but I'm not going to stick my neck out on the line and, and tell you that because of the fear that we will have this week for a majority of the week until wednesday really thursday friday those are going to be the two days where the markets can digest this information and hopefully have somewhat of a bullish reaction now i will say the volume has been very low amc stock has held up very well so that is good once we get volume that heads back in you're going to see some degree of an explosive move that comes back into the stock look at this volume ramp that we've seen back here the stock went from 10 to 16 at the peak what happened? Well, you had increasing volume every single day. What are we looking at right now? You got low volume. It's going to head into higher volume. It's literally only a matter of time. The MACD is bullish. The RSI is extremely oversold. So, uh, you know, kind of give and take here. I don't know why the MACD is honestly so bullish still. Uh, We'll just have to wait and see what happens with that. I think it's a pretty good sign, though, nonetheless. So that is my price prediction. Really, breaking out above. Oh, 
oh didn't mean to do that breaking out above these moving averages the 50 and 100 day moving averages making our way close to about 20 21 dollars per share but that'll likely happen on thursday and friday and it will likely have a lot to do with the option activity as well so that is going to be all for this video if you guys find value out of it hit the like button subscribe to the channel source your comments questions or concerns down below in the comment section and don't let me forget before we do wrap up this video the max pain for this upcoming week is actually eight dollars per share yes i do have it pulled up 18 dollars per share for this upcoming friday the max paying for last friday was 13 dollars per share roughly where we closed that a little bit uh, obviously under 13 but pretty close to 13 so if we can make a move to 18 that would that would be great that would be great but i think we could overshoot that uh, a little bit especially if we do get that bullish reaction and considering the option activity so that will be all will be all for this video thank you guys for watching get your free stocks with Webo, Mumu, and public down below in the description of this video come trade with us live in real time we've been killing it guys hit some nice trades last week so if you guys are done sitting on your hands watching your portfolios bleed and you want to come learn how to trade and you know profit from the markets falling that is a great tool to do so obviously uh, returns are not guaranteed all of that learn learn options first come you know come prepared options are uh no man's land you can make a lot you can lose a lot you can lose everything you could get rich that's that's essentially how options uh tend to work so that's it thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one